Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Jelly Belly Popsicles. This one was on clearance for $2.47. You know, my man Anthony on the, the Freezer Burns Facebook page asked me the other day, have I tried these? And you know what? I, I realized that I had these in my freezer and I never tried them. And so, what better time to try and review these Jelly Belly Popsicles than Memorial Day weekend, which is like the unofficial start of summer. I mean, I know that May, uh, June 21st is technically the first day of summer, but Memorial Day is like the first day of barbecues and the first day of like opening up your pool. I know I'm excited to hit the pool, and I'm also excited to hit Popsicles. Jelly Belly Popsicles, Popsicle brand, it says it has a unique center. I have no idea what that means. But I do like Jelly Belly, and it's either blueberry, berry cherry, or tutti frutti. I have one in particular here. Let's see how this tastes and what this unique center is all about. Okay, I seem to have gotten blueberry, and on the bottom here, it's got this like pink color. Maybe the blue didn't extend over and it's just naturally pink, or maybe it's like a different flavor on the inside. Let's see how this tastes. Oh. That's really interesting. It's got an interesting cross section. It is multicolor. Um, oh, I get it. It's kind of, I mean, maybe this was the intention, but uh, on the cross section there, it actually looks like a jelly belly. Now you notice that I bit it. I bit it because, well, this is a popsicle. It's not as hard and icy like normal popsicles. It's actually, more like a um, frutare type consistency, uh, more like a, um, for those old school people who are just like uh, my age, more like the original Jello pudding pops. This is not icy, it is, um, what's the right word? It's, um, it's, it's more supple, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's chewy. It's not chewy like, uh, you know, ah, it's tough. Man, I can't stand it. It's unique. It's a unique center. So, of course, I can't explain it because I've never had something like this before because it's unique. If I had something before that I could compare it to, I, it wouldn't be unique. That's my little rant there. Interesting taste. Doesn't taste super artificial. Tastes like blueberry. That's nice. honestly have no idea how to describe this consistency, except that it's pretty awesome. It's certainly lickable, it's certainly suckable, it's certainly biteable, and it's certainly jelly belly. And I will go one step further and say it is certainly a unique center. And at 247 clearance from Target, that's a pretty awesome price as well. This is the Jelly Belly Popsicle. I give it a four and a half out of five star rating. I don't think any popsicle, to be honest, is going to ever get a perfect five star rating just because popsicle, a popsicle is a popsicle. You gotta like come with something like crazy unique. And I'm not talking unique like those um, cheesy gimmicks like what Magnum did for Magnum Infinity Bars. I'm talking about unique like take it to the next level and I haven't reached that yet in the freezer aisle so this is a four and a half out of five star rating. Question of the day, what is your favorite Jelly Belly flavor? Leave that in the comment section. I'll tell you my favorite is Prickly Pear. Love, love, love Prickly Pear Jelly Bellies. And if you ever had a chance to go to the Jelly Belly factory in Northern California, you should not miss that. Uh, wait, did I just say if you've ever? If you haven't, you should totally go check it out because it's awesome. They have a little jelly belly, uh, uh, jelly bean bar where you can go and like choose this and this and this and they have different flavor combinations. They take you on a tour. You see how they're all made. Pretty amazing. I've been there many, many times with my family. The kids love it and it's jelly belly. So leave your favorite jelly belly flavor in the comment section. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. See you next time.